co-founder of Hungry Pecker Brewing. Today I just want to do a short video about uh, yeast harvesting. So this video is going to focus on um, just how to harvest yeast and um, using a specific uh, type of vessel. Um, so some people have conical fermenters, um, which makes it pretty easy for the yeast to settle to the bottom. Uh, other people have buckets and stuff. Uh, which you can still harvest yeast from the bucket, but today we're, I'm going to cover harvesting yeast from a conical fermenter. So um, our conical fermenter um, has a, a tri-clamp uh, one inch inside um, diameter ball valve on it. And I like the one inch because um, it doesn't seem to get clogged up as easy as some of the smaller valves. So I've already taken my star sand spray and I sprayed my uh, valve, just make sure it's uh, sanitized. And I've also got my bucket of iodine, which I have already sanitized my um, yeast harvester. So I'm gonna bring that over here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull the yeast harvester out, dump the iodine out of it, kinda let it do a little drip dry there for a second. Grab my O-ring and my tri-clamp -clamp fitting. Alright, so all I'm going to do is just line it up and attach it right to the bottom of my ball valve that's on my conical fermenter. So I like to keep things nice and tidy. So I, I had a drip tray in there just to catch any drips off of my star sand that I put in there. So just gonna double check everything, make sure I'm all tightened up and good to go on all my clamps. What? That's scary. Okay, now that the uh, yeast harvester is on there, I'm just gonna open the valve and hopefully we'll have some yeast dump into there. We should. So there's lots of yeast settled down at the bottom here. Okay, good. We got it dumped in there real nicely. Get a close-up of that there, cameraman. Um, you can see that it was um, pretty thin going into there. So it had a lot of the beer mixed in with it, which is good. That way it all went down into here. And uh, what's going to happen is any of the beer that's in there will displace back up into the uh, top of the conical fermenter and um, all the yeast uh, will settle down in here nicely. So I've already done one dump out of this, which I had just a very small amount of trub. So this harvest right here is technically my second harvest. And um, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple days until it just looks like it's a nice, uh, solid, uh, thick, not really solid, but a really thick uh, yeast slurry, like a real thick milkshake uh, consistency. And then that's when we will take the harvester off. And um, our next video, we'll talk about uh, transferring what we have in this yeast harvester uh, to a sanitized uh, mason jar and storing it in our refrigerator until our next batch. Now, if you're doing smaller batches, um, you could just take off this harvester. It comes with a cap, and you can save that to your next batch if that's enough for you. But uh, that's not quite enough for uh, what we need to pitch for our next batch. So we're going to harvest uh, several mason jars of good, um, recycled yeast out of this batch. Okay, well that's it for this video. So, um, tune in to my next video. We're going to talk about transferring that yeast and storing it in the refrigerator. And then we'll do another one on uh, doing starters and stuff like that. So, thanks for stopping by Hungry Packer Brewing. Uh, go ahead and give us a like on Facebook. Thanks.